Hi, so welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title, this video is once again a theme like the last two Thursday videos where I do my makeup inspired by a Disney princess or Disney villain Colourpop collection. So today I am turning myself into Ariel from The Little Mermaid. This film is my favourite soundtrack. If I'm going to break out into a Disney song, it's going to be from The Little Mermaid. In this collection, you get a lip gloss, a lipstick, and an eyeshadow. The lipstick, I think, is just called Ariel. The shadow is called Under the Sea, and the lip gloss is called Guppy, because she says to Flounder, don't be a guppy, or you sound like a guppy. So, I'm going to do my makeup. Hopefully it turns out alright. Again, I'm using a lot of the same stuff, but also a few different items. Starting off with Benefit's Pore Professional Primer. Who knows, I'm testing my eyes first, but anyway. My plan is to use two different palettes today. Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette and Nude Palette because they have some good purples in there and I'm going to do purple and green because the eyeshadow in the Ariel Princess collection is green. Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette has a really nice purple here. I'm gonna go with that because it's very kind of animated purple, bright colors. It has been a traumatic last two days and I'm just phys like physically and mentally exhausted at the moment. I didn't even think I was gonna get this video done. I still haven't even edited Monday's video and I'm filming this today, Monday. <laughs> gonna go in with the shade Amethyst, outer corner and up, spread it around, start my way out and then work in later. I honestly didn't know if I was going to film today. I've had two... On Saturday I got home and got a call from the store manager and I had just apparently done the wrong thing so he told me off and I was really upset about that so Saturday night I cried myself to sleep and then yesterday was Sunday and I got another message about something else that I just don't know how to fix and I've been trying and I just so anxious for tomorrow because that's the problem I've got to deal with tomorrow and the boss said just you can talk to him but he doesn't listen so it's, I ended up like at three o'clock being upset about that barely eating my lunch and then just going up to my room and um, staying up there for the rest of the night didn't want to eat any food didn't want dinner or anything like that and cried myself to sleep for several hours <laughs> well cried for several hours and then eventually fell asleep had really puffy eyes yesterday <laughs> And my face is just a blotchy mess today and I'm still quite upset. <laughs> Yay! I'm going in with the nude palette and I'm gonna go in with Love Bite because it's a bit of a darker purple so I'm hoping to get kind of deep smoky look on the outer corners. That is what it is called. Can someone please tell me the correct terminology? Yesterday and Saturday night I was supposed to be super productive and get anything I needed to get done. I want to go back in with the Desert Dusk palette and put maybe some Royal and Twilight over that. Royal is a bit of a, I don't know, they're both kind of glittery. Then I'm just going to get some concealer and go over the eyelids. Just tired of everything. The concealer that I'm using is Tarte's Rainforest of the Sea and I'm putting in some Kat Von D setting powder just to set my eyes for the moment so that the concealer doesn't go everywhere. Gives it a bit more of a white base too. I feel like The Little Mermaid has the best soundtrack. It's got Under the Sea and it's got Part of This World and a few other good ones. You can't go wrong when you're rocking out to those. Going in with Under the Sea from my Colourpop. I'm just going in with like a flat brushy and putting it on as much as I can. It's really on there. And just trying to pack that on uh, my eye. This is the only green I've got. Is it? I can't remember if the Norvina palette has any green. No, it's got blue. I don't find this the most pigmented color. I feel like you have to really get a lot of it to get it very bright. I'm just grabbing my Tati palette just to grab some black to put over the purple too. So first I'm going in with Desert Dusk again. Just 
to blend some purple into that green. Then back in with Love Bite. Then just in with Tarty's Memory Matte to get a bit of the smokier feel to this. I think I'm relatively happy with that. I'm going to go under my eye with Amethyst. I might end up going over it with Love Bite, is it? I think I'm good with that. Like most Disney movies, they're very twisted in a way. I guess different times, we're in the 21st century, so people are getting married later, having kids later and all of that stuff. And here you have a 16 year old who is trying to get married to someone in their probably 20s, maybe late 20s. Someone she doesn't know who she's just basically into because she saw them and thought they looked good. Realistically speaking, she'd probably have a very unhappy marriage. Using my Kat Von D tattoo liner, Taking my whatever it is white eyeliner, I'm gonna go under my eyes. Okay, I think I'm going all right with this. What do you think? What should I do next? I think I'll just finish my eyes. I don't know, I just find it so dumb that she's 16. Taylor Swift says, when you are young, they assume you know nothing. She knows nothing. She thinks she knows the world and she's 16. She knows under the sea world. She doesn't know the dry land world and I don't know, heck of confidence that girl has. I would never be able to do that. Go from what you know to what you completely don't know. How does she even speak the same language? She can understand the animals and they can all talk to her but the animals can't talk to the people but the people can talk to her so Lots of questions about this movie. <laughs> Since I put glue all over my face last time, I'm not going to try and stuff up my foundation. I'll do that last. I'm going to put on my eyelashes first. So eyelashes, we are going with Tarte again. These ones are called Girl Boss. Hopefully you can see them. Putting them on the right side this time. Not doing one side and realizing I've put it on the wrong eye. So taking it off and starting again. And I'm using my black Tarte glue. I must say though, Poor Unfortunate Souls by Ursula. Definitely feeling that at the moment. I went from my job not liking certain parts and thinking that the part that I did like, I could do it somewhere else and that I would like it. So I felt like I kind of sold my soul to change position. What has that resulted in? It's resulted in me um, pretty much being a mental wreck. <laughs> I guess since puberty, I don't really cry. I might cry a handful of times throughout the year. It's just not really my thing. And I think I've cried in the last seven weeks more than I have in like the last half of my life. I'm sure that relates to Ariel. She probably cried a lot. Didn't feel like she fit into her own world. She had to go to a new world. So she sold her voice to go there. And I'm pretty sure in the original story, it was like walking for her felt like walking on shards of glass because everything back then, every fairy tale that wasn't really much of a fairy tale ended in misery anyway had to hurt someone in some way life i guess i guess that tells you how much fun life was back then if the fairy tales were misery <laughs> teachable lessons let's see if i'm better at putting on lashes this time since i've got a bit more practice since i did one last week and i actually don't remember the last time i put on lashes might have been like a year ago I don't really put on lashes much, only if I'm going out and I like never go out. And if I'm just doing normal makeup, I just wear mascara because my lashes are long enough. <laughs> Flex. <laughs> Attempt one. I think that went well. Let's go. Number two. Obviously the Sing King is like kind of like beside her. Hey, I was listening to Under the Sea, right? Because I just watched the movie before I did this. I was going to watch it yesterday, but you know, depression. So I watched it before I film. I started filming this. Even though I kind of, I've, that's probably one of my most watched movies just because I like the soundtrack. I remember it really well. Under the Sea. I don't know if anyone else has noticed this. I feel like Under the Sea is quite similar to The Lion King. I don't know what it's called. I'm gonna be the king, so enemies beware. Oh, I never saw a king or beast with quite so little hair. Gonna be the main event like no king was before. I'm brushing up, I'm looking down, I'm working on my roar. Oh, I just can't wait to be king. Is that the one where, like, everybody look left, everybody look right, everywhere you look, I'm turn a spot. Yes, that song, that one. That one is quite like Under the Sea because 
it starts off with like this small kind of production and then goes really huge with all of these everyone else involved in it too. So everyone else getting so involved in it that the caretaker gets distracted. So Zazu in Lion King or Sebastian in Little Mermaid and when they look back they're like where did my ward go? Ariel kind of escaped and Nala and Simba escaped and it's like they're both really really fun big songs. Obviously a lot of the Disney movies are connected. The Lion King is connected to Hercules. I'm sure Hercules in a way is kind of connected to the Little Mermaid because I would say the under the the sea king is Poseidon. Number two. Hope this goes on as well as number one. I think that's okay. A little bit of mascara. Seal it on. Benefit. Bad girl mascara. It's the one I've opened at the moment. I'm not opening another one until I'm done with this one. Then I'll just be getting my Kat Von D tattoo liner and going over my tops of my eyeliner. Starting off with my concealer, Anastasia Beverly Hills concealer to just get the little bits that have been bad. My face is blotchy and red because I didn't take care of it properly yesterday and I cried. Does anyone else also find it weird that I guess the French chef in the kingdom is really into cooking sea creatures and Ariel doesn't seem to be doing much about stopping that? They are her like friends and family kind of. She left her whole family to be with some guy. Some random guy. I guess people do do that. I just really don't think I could ever leave my family for some person I don't know. Okay, honestly. I think I'm actually getting better at doing makeup looks. What do you think? I still have no idea what I'm doing, but I feel like I'm definitely improving. I also haven't done makeup consistently and doing it once a week is helping me playing with all of these colors. And I think I'm actually getting better at it. So I'll be using a Dior backstage. It's not quite my colour at the moment, this is my tanning colour, but I think it's a bit of a fuller coverage, so I'm just going to mix it with Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Fair. I'm going to get my brush and just mix that together. So I definitely need fuller coverage today. My face is a mess. <laughs> I mean, kind of victim blaming, but Ursula is quite upfront with the fact that she tells people, you got to follow my rules or I basically own you. Out of Hades and Ursula and then Gaston in Beauty and the Beast. I think Gaston is kind of the worst. I go Gaston, Ursula, Hades. Because Gaston is just very, very selfish, very entitled up himself. He's very much about toxic masculinity. Whereas Hades kind of just got the bad end of the stick and all of the gods messed equally messed up so no one is better or worse than the other really. And Ursula, kind of a mix between the both, I would say. Going in with my Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Concealer. Ariel even leaves Flounder behind, which is her best friend. She leaves her family and her friends behind, everyone she knows behind, for some random guy she doesn't know. Not to mention, he takes it pretty well that she's a mermaid. Is anyone else so excited for the little mermaid live action, uh, Disney live action, whatever it is to be made? I was super excited for Cinderella, which was great in my opinion, and Beauty and the Beast, I really liked that too. But I'm so excited about this, and of course, all of the drama around it with Haley, Halle, Halle, I think? Hallie getting classed as the Little Mermaid because she's not white and everyone's just like well Ariel is white so she should be white and it's a di it's what like a Scandinavian or something like that fairy tale it's set in an actual place where she is white so it should be white I don't really care I think I'd rather have someone who is cast who has a beautiful voice tick she does and two she looks like a freaking mermaid I saw her and I'm just like oh yep no she looks like a mermaid to me beautiful angelic voice i'm here for it so people who are angry that she got cast and she's not white ugh, get over yourself she's gonna do great and i can't wait to see it i got kat von d setting powder translucent one i'm just gonna put it in a little brush in some problem areas it's not like i'm keeping my hair makeup on all day honestly i just put it on for this video and i was watching megan bowen and she was doing a korean makeup tutorial where she was trying to copy a korean makeup tutorial and they don't really put setting powder everywhere just kind of where it needs to go so i was just gonna try that and see how it goes i'm putting it on powdered blush and contour and stuff like that anyway so it's essentially setting powder today for my blush and highlighter and bronzer i will be using this becca face palette just grabbing my cheek brush i'm going to go in with bronze bondi just fyi bondi beach is probably the most famous beach in australia it's not a great beach i don't like it the water is cold it also is quite rough water and i think it's got a very deep dip into it if you're going to go to a beach in australia not the one i'd go to i'd go there just to say that you've been there good place for surf lessons they have really good places up there for surf lessons 
lessons and good restaurants and stuff, but I'm not going there for the water. If I'm gonna go to the beach, I'm gonna go Queensland. They got nice beaches. Water is warm too. I'm gonna do my eyebrow. Now this is gonna give away to obviously what I'm gonna look like when I finish up my makeup, as well as obviously you'd see the thumbnail, and so you know anyway. You know what color Ariel's hair is, so. What I'm using for my eyebrows will be Kat Von D pomade, I think it's called, or something like that, I don't know. It's a brow cream, and obviously this color is scarlet. I also have a brow pencil that I got from another place I used to get my eyebrows threaded. If I can find it, I'll link that one below too. This is really smooth. It goes on so easily. I think it's so easy to paint your brows with this. I think this is this video is quite therapeutic for me. It's making me feel a bit better. Maybe having my makeup turn out looking all right gives me a bit more control. Oh, feeling of the control over my life. Eyebrows done. Just gonna go in once again with my Benefit Brow Highlighter under my brows and my ottoman brow smudge brush looking quite snazzy if I do say so myself obviously Ariel is also a rosy Disney princess so going in with a very rosy winterberry blush Highlighting time, my favorite time. Spritz in Kat Von D Locket powder. Sorry, Kat Von D Locket setting spray. And I think I will go in the blush highlighter, rose quartz highlighter. Becca has great highlighters. I'm really not a fan of the, the ColourPop highlighter that comes in the Disney Villain collection. I don't even think their eyeshadow is the best either, but it's not bad. It's just not the best. I like their lipstick and their lip gloss though. For the rest of my face, I'm gonna go in with the opal highlighter. And a bit up here. All looking good. Final stage is obviously the lip gloss. And I would normally go for red with Ariel's look because she is, you know, has that classic red lip. But these are not red. Watching. Now I really don't mind that it's not a red as well because you get to go a bit crazy with your eyes. Sometimes when you go crazy with your eyes you don't want to go crazy with your lips because then it looks a bit too much everywhere. I'm going to go even with the I think Sephora Universal Lip Liner because this doesn't come with a lip liner. Now in with the Ariel Lipstick. Okay, I did overline my lips a little bit. And then lastly the gloss on top obviously. This one? doesn't have a good smell like the Hades one. doesn't have a smell at all. So it feels weird to have a, like a lip gloss not have a smell. At least in now, 2020, everything's got a smell. Scented stuff generally isn't good for your skin if it's got scented like foundation or anything scented creams or face washes, not really good. So I haven't had a lot of pinky nudie colors. That's why I kind of went for the ones with the lipsticks like this. I would really, it's so interesting because a lot of the Disney princesses and Disney villains have reds and I didn't want to pick those ones because I have reds already, but I find it really interesting that Ariel wasn't given a red because she's really iconically known to have red lips. I like this color for me. It's time to get into so I am now officially Ariel the Little Mermaid. Voila! Just brushing out my hair with a good old dingle hopper. Can't go wrong with a dingle hopper. In my Lana Jean purple sports bra because Ariel has purple seashells on top. Got my Beanie Weeks long red synthetic lace front wig and my Ariel makeup. What do you think? I feel like my eyes look like they're hookers. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please comment below, like, subscribe. Any support would be really helpful. I am trying to get the ball rolling on this so I can hopefully get out of the job that I hate and do something that I like. My weekend started off bad. I didn't think I would film this video and doing this video has made me feel better. So I'm sure that means it's the right sign of doing something 
right? <laughs> just need people to watch the videos or actually like the videos. So maybe I just need to make better videos. Gotta be me. So thank you for watching. Can I just say, my friend got me a hamper, a kind of, um, what's it called, what's it called, what's it called? Yeah, a hamper, a snack hamper, and flowers came in it, and these are the flowers that came in it, and they're so pretty, so thank you, Amy. They are brightening up my life, even though my life sucks right now. And we all know it, and you probably know it, <laughs> well, you know it.